You're like a celebrity in the woods. Oh, crack me up. We got Sydney Hornblower here on the trail with us. Drew, first time out with me. If y'all have not seen his channel, I'll put a link down below. Hi, Mom. Pay attention here, Hornblower. This is what I was talking about. I'm oh, sorry. I'm <laughs> All right, hiking freaks. I'm back on the backcountry, Kusha backcountry trail with Jerry and Drew from Sydney Hornblower. Five tangos in the lead right now, looking for a campsite. You See you at camp. And for a treat, Jerry is filming. I've decided to join the 21st century. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I don't know what's in this bottle, but <laughs> it packed a punch. <laughs> We've made it to a summit. I don't know what summit. Someone carried this barbell up. Crazy. Uh, Jerry said he's gonna carry that one out. Cause Drew didn't like seeing it up here. Drew's got that special bridge hammock. Of one of a kind. Very special. With the hammock gear. Xenon tarp. I put a link him talking about this bridge hammock, it's a special bridge hammock. What you got there, Jerry? I have the S29 all white with a metal liner so that Smokey Bear will have a hard time chewing on it. And it is filled with an obscene amount of hemp seed. And I double bag it inside of a base camp bag. This is what I pay attention here, Hornboard. This is what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm <laughs> getting my game plan on. You put your little snaps. I just, I'm terrible. I just suck it. Just... You put your little snaps on the rope so you don't lose them. Oh, will that work for your water bottle? Sure will. Perfect. What's that? What I have. Just give me a sec, Jerry. I've got water in my hand. The deluxe. Simply like the design. Boot hammer. Oh, yeah. The boot hammer.
I've heard of a pack explosion. I don't know if I've ever heard of a food bag explosion. Rick, that's what this is. I've got a Dutch Hexon 1.0 side zip and a Hammock Gear 12 foot Quest tarp, both in light gray. And, and a, this is the Dutch's, what's he called it? Poly. Poly. Uh, it's a dynamic poly, poly, but it's yeah. the black and white one with the beetle buckle. But I hung right off of the off the continuous loops. And I've got exactly one bubble. I'm a one bubble off on my bubble. I've always thought you were one bubble well, off. Well, I'm one bubble off. That's the way I like to hang, one bubble off. See, I, I have these long loops in case I need a little stretch, you know, a little mm -hmm. extra. Exactly. But I was so tight, four actually, there's one on either side of the, of the tarp and one, you know, Normally, I don't have trees on the sides like this to deal with, but I do. Got taut worms. And I got, this is my Tim Watson approved pad. Hey, Tim, I'm wearing your belt, buddy. <laughs> Check that out. Now, ain't that something? Let's see. Now, is that dual purpose or what? That's, what are you sitting on there? Everything I do is dual purpose. This is a back, this is a food bag, Ursac S29 all white with the metal liner that weighs 10 ounces. So, technically, you've got a 10 ounce stool. That's why I went to the heavy duty pad. This pad weighs one ounce more than my Dutch pad weighs, but it gives me a little bit more comfort on top of these sharp edges on this metal liner. See that? What are we serving up for supper? This is Jack's Drinkwater's Bean Bark Stew. This stuff is fantastic. I love this stuff. It takes about 15 minutes to soak and cook, but man, I love it. Everything except the camera. The water. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna cook without water. Huh. Let's see, we are all right. We got flame, we got water. It's morning time, got some water on bowl for some coffee. Got a nice little breeze. It was a good night. Definitely wasn't too hot. Definitely wasn't too cold. It was perfect temperature. He's coming back from where the magic happens. Jerry got a starlight in there, cooking up some coffee, and making some water for the oatmeal. Whoa. Woo! Stop it, Josh, quick. Let me sit down before before my hammock takes off into the, into the next county. This is how Drew stays warm in the morning. <laughs> Not butter and coffee. Definitely not the breakfast of champions. Tastes good though. Drew, what we got over here? Uh, two different kinds of cereal third of a cup of powdered milk and enough water to make it look like real milk. And that's just regular water, huh? No heating it up cold, oh, just like no, cold no, milk. God, don't heat it up. No, no, <laughs> no. You don't like your cereal hot? No. <laughs> it's un-American. Jerry, you done upgraded here? You got a new oh, uh, gear hammock sling? I have a lighter a gear hammock, which is really known as the Simply Light Design shoe hammock or boot hammock. So we're heading out of camp, Camp Barbell. I'll put a link on Google so you can find it. Birds are saying they're coming, they're coming.
That was a good up here for the start. Me and Drew already did it last night to go get water. So we kind of knew what was up in front of us. Jerry, no blamo. Now it's all contaminated. Oh, probably 20 years old, young. We'd been down to the J.C. Penney store with my Uncle Albert. Walked in J.C. Penney's, bought a Browning made in Belgium, 30 out six for $180 cash. No waiting period. When I was 18, 19, when I bought it. Went over to my grandmother's and got in a deer stand. I shot at a deer and missed. He proceeds to run. I calmed down. His tail was going up and down and up and down. I shot the deer. He dropped dead before he hit the ground. I walked up and there was not a mark on him anywhere. None. Took him over to my brother-in-law's house and we processed him. The bullet had entered an orifice upon the animal, better known as his rectum. Run up his spinal column and totally fragmented and destroyed his central nervous system. There was not so much as a disturbed hair on the deer. Where you going? So we're coming down off Coosa Ball, a little cloudy, we're on the Duncan Ridge Trail by the way, and uh, it's a little cloudy but it's definitely worth the climb up to see it regardless. Uh, so if you're up in this area and you, you're doing the loop on the Vogel State Park, Coosa Back Country, definitely uh, take a right on Duncan Ridge, go up a short little hike to Coosa Ball, especially if it's a clear day it might be even better. All right, we're still on the Coosa Backcountry Trail, coming across 180 again. Um, completing the loop here. It's pretty much a straight up hill, uh, but it's a short hill. So, we we'll see you at the top. Let's rest. somebody just threw out a bottle of water but I guess if you were dying of thirst with no water that would be for the built-in pack rest why do you look both ways we don't stand in the middle of the road we don't stand in the middle of the road and I know why the why the, the possum crossed the road why so the chicken crossed the road because the possum did. 
Well, that, I got that wrong. The chicken crossed the road to show the pocket. But it doesn't always work that way because I could run over a rooster one time coming home from the grill. Cruel to animals. I tried not to hit him. Oh, mother. to complete. If you are on the wrong trail, take Highway 180 to the right to Vogel State Park, 3.1 miles. Well, this is it, Drew. You're in the Blood Mountain Wilderness, so we don't need to go to Blood Mountain now. Blood Mountain Wilderness, so you and I can cancel our trip to Blood Mountain now. We've already been there. We are there now. This trail must be pretty easy. You're strolling up it just a hot eating. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm bored and, you know, it's not taking a whole lot of energy to walk straight up the side of a mountain like this, so I'm just having a snack. Are we resting or just enjoying the view? We're enjoying the view of the rock. I've never seen a rock that looks like that. That rock has integrity. ...and the Coosaw Backcountry Trail heading on the west side back toward Mobile. It's straight up. It's awesome. I wanted to photograph this beautiful rock and also grab a minute to catch my breath. You see the road way down there. And my taskmasters, Josh and Drew. And we're going to push on. So I think Drew has encouraged Jerry to start filming. I'll put a link down below for Five Tango. This has got to be the top. If this ain't it, wasn't he? If this ain't the top, I'm pulling out the nine millimeter. <laughs> you can go on up me. the ridge a ways. Huh? You have to make a right turn and go up the ridge a ways, but I don't see anything but daylight up ahead. Oh. What in the world am I doing? Having fun. And I'm glad I had that peanut butter. That's why I ate that, that bar you gave me right down at the bottom of this. I'm not morally certain I'm working at all. Okay, we started coming down Slaughter Mountain back towards Vogel State Park. And we're going to split off me, Jerry, and Drew. I'm leaving them basically. I got to be at work in the morning. So they get to camp another night. And uh, wish them all the luck. They got a little rain coming in at 2 a.m., which is just perfect waking up at 2 a.m. here in rain. Uh, as long as you get it after you set up camp, it's good sleeping weather for sure. Planting. And I don't want to do that and I need to hold my pole for that. Your sternum straps a little uh, well, twisted my, up. My old gator straps. Yeah, we're close to the road. Alright. 
Don't lead the way. Alright. Jay, you look like you lost some weight there. I probably have. So Drew and Jerry decided not to go on bear hair and come on down to the campground right at the end here as soon as you start. And they're right here at the pavilion. They've picked them out a couple spots right here beside the pavilion. It's going to rain tonight and they've got some spots to retreat to. Some picnic tables as well. So easy out in the morning for them as well. So it's been a good trip. Really enjoyed it. Uh, can't wait to go out on the next one with you, Jerry. Enjoyed meeting you, Drew. And uh, we'll see you on the next go-around.